Hi, Pizza Doctor here. It's Sunday morning and I realized I didn't have any dough to make pizza today. And I know my family is looking forward to having some tonight. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna take a look at making a dough that we're gonna let rise for between eight to 10 hours and see what kind of pizza we get out of that. I think it's gonna be great, but we'll wait and see what we come up with at the end of the day. Now, the other thing we're gonna be doing today is we're going to be splitting our batch of dough. So I'm gonna be making a double batch, enough for six pizzas. And when we make enough for six pizzas, what we're gonna do is we're gonna split that in half and half of it we're gonna do on our quick, what I would call a quick rise, is gonna be 10, about 10 hours or so. And then the other half, we're gonna do a cold rise. So up to this point, all of my videos I've been showing doing a warm rise, which is the traditional way to make a Neapolitan pizza dough for margarita pizza. And the reason for that, or one of the reasons for that is that they didn't have the readily available refrigeration or a lot of refrigeration to be able to put up big batches of dough in Italy when they were uh, developing this kind of way of doing the, the pizza dough. They make an incredible pizza, obviously. They're world famous for their pizza. It's uh, some of the best, if not the best in the world. And it actually is a lot more difficult to make a warm rice pizza than to do it the cold rice way. We take that dough and we put it in a refrigerated environment. And by doing that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna slow down the fermentation or the proofing process. So that process as the dough is developing is called proofing it. And by slowing it down, we're letting the, we're slowing down the fermentation time so that the yeast that's in the, the mixture will have more time to work on the sugars in the dough and that will develop a complex, very uh, much more, uh, uh, much just basically a more complex flavor. It, it gives a lot of uh, structure to it, and, and you'll, I'm sure, notice the difference if you if you decide to take this approach. Of course, by doing a slow proofing, which can be anywhere from uh, 48 to even up to 96 hours, I found that the best is about three days. So 72 hours of uh, proofing gives me what I feel is uh, a good, basically the maximum return on the investment of the time that I'm gonna put into it. Once you get beyond that, sometimes I'll have some leftover dough that'll go four or five days and it'll still be good, but it can actually, believe it or not, get overproofed. And future videos, I'll, I'll talk about overproofing and what we could do for that in terms of trying to um, reball the dough so that you don't uh, have a, um, you have so you have a ball to work with that's not overly flattened just because it's been sitting for too long in the refrigerator. The mixture today will be easy to calculate because we're going to be using a thousand grams of the flour. So remember our baker's percentages, we use a thousand grams of flour and then depending on everything else is calculated against that. So we're going to be adding, we're going to do, be, be doing a 64% hydration and that's going to mean that we're going to use uh, 600 uh, milliliters or 600 grams of, of water with 40 of the olive oil. So that's going to give us our 640, which is going to be the 64% hydration. We're going to do our salt and we'll be somewhere between 20 to 25 grams of that. And then our yeast, we're going to use seven grams, which comes in the pack. <laughs> Thank you. 
Giorno di torno girano, delle belle trovando al riposo, ma ci si trova tu gino d'amor. Delle belle trovando al riposo, ma ci si trova tu gino d'amor. Non più vrai questi bei panachini, quel cap. Pello leggero galante, quella chioma, quell'aria brillante, quel vermiglio donesco color, quel vermiglio donesco color. Non più vrai, quei penachini, quel cappello, quella chioma, quell'aria brillante. Non più vrai farfalloni amoroso, Notte giorno di torno gerato, delle belle turbando al riposo, ma ci sento a tu gino d'amor. Delle belle turbando al riposo, ma ci sento a tu gino d'amor. Fra guerrieri può far bacco, curando stacchi stretto sacco, schioppo in spalla, ciabla a fianco, Collo dritto, uso franco, un gran casco, un gran turbante, molto onor, poco cantante, poco cantante, poco cantante. Ed invece del fandango, una marcia per il fango, per montagni, per valloni, Colo nevi e salioni al concetto di tromboni, di pandate di cannoni, che le porre tutti toni, all'orecchio fa fischiar. Non più vrai, quei penachini, non più vrai, quel cappello, non più vrai, quella chioma, non più vrai, quell'aria brillante. Non più vrai far colonia amoroso, notte giorno di torno gerato, delle belle trovando al riposo, ma ci sento a tu gino d'amor. Delle belle trovando al riposo, ma ci sento a tu gino d'amor. Che rovino alla vittoria, alle gloria militar, che rovino alla vittoria, alle gloria militar, alle gloria militar, alle gloria militar. Doctor here. So we did the first of our pizzas from our big batch of dough that we made this morning. We did it with a warm rise over approximately eight hours and had a great result. And we're looking forward to seeing what we get with the cold rise. So we'll be following that dough as it develops over the next three days. Have a good evening. Buonasera. See you next time. <laughs>